everyone welcome you to my channel so for today we are going to making a simple video on how to cut a pinafore skirt if this is your first time of coming to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so for today's video i'm rocking an infinite wrap dress now we made this dress in one of our class i'm going to put down the details down below at the description box now one thing i love about this infinite wrap dress is it has various ways in which you can actually wrap it and wear it okay so let me show you guys the back view of the dress so this is what we have for the back view of the dress this is one way in which you can actually wear your infinite wrap dress so now don't forget to watch this down below at the description bar so what are the basic measurements required for a pinafore skirt basically we need our skirt length and our waist measurement so my skirt length is 22 inches so for my skirt length i have 22 inches plus 2 inches because i'm going to fold it down below i have 24 inches and so for my waist my waist is 30 inches is actually very small right so 30 inches divided by four but let me tell you guys um the easiest method to cut your waist because the waist is going to have a band the waist is going to have a band so you you are just going to cut it into two that is the front panel and for the back panel so instead of dividing it by four the easiest method is just to divide by two so you divide it by two you have 15 so you have 15 for the front and you have 15 for the back don't forget to add your one inch joining allowance to the both sides so you know you are cutting plus one you have 16 inches okay so now so now let's move to the fabric so this is what you have so for your waist measurements, how are you going to know the number of inches required for your pleat? All you have to do is to multiply your waist measurements by two and a half, or you multiply your waist measurement by three inches. So our waist measurement is 30. So 30 plus two and a half, we have about 90. 30 plus three, let's multiply it by three if you want your, your skirt to be very full. So you have about 90 inches okay so that is the amount of fabric required for your pleat and so this is what we have for our skirt length is 24 inches so this is what we have 24 inches okay so the amount of fabric required depends on on your waist measurements multiplied by two and a half or your waist measurements multiplied by three it actually depends on how you want it to be full so you just open it up just this is it very simple so you set this aside so the next thing required for it for your pinafore is your cape measurement now how are you going to know the number of inches required for your cape measurement from your shoulder to your half length is 17 inches so we have shoulder to our half length 17 inches so this is 17 inches so you are going to determine how many inches you want to cut out for your neckline so for me about five inches i want to take away five inches from the neckline so you place your five inches minus five inches that is for the neck so you have a total of 12 inches okay so this is 12 inches and so for the wideness you can make it of 12 inches for the wideness or 13 inches so the reason why i have it in two folds i'm going to open this up because it should be in two folds is because when you turn it you can actually have both front sides of the pinna so what we need now is a piece of fabric pieces of fabric how are you going to know the amount of fabric required for your skirt simply multiply your waist by two and a half or by three inches so i haven't done that i'm going to use this amount of fabric for it so we, you just measure your skirt length so our skirt length is 24 inches so we have 24 inches so our waist is 30 multiplied by 3 we have about 90 inches of fabric however you can use two and a half inches so after that the next thing you are going to do is to get your cape 
for your pinafore. So for you to determine the amount of inches you are going to use for your cape, simply determine how many inches you want to take off for your neckline. So for me, I want to take off about 5 inches for my neckline. And don't forget that our waist measurement is 17 inches. So you take away the 5 inch, so you have 12 inches, okay? So by the time you measure this, you have 12 inches. So for the wideness, you can make it of 12 or 13 inches for the wideness. So this is our cape. So you are going to set that aside. So the next thing you need is your band for your waist. So our waist measurement is 30 inches. So we are going to add 2 inches for the joining allowance. We have a total of 32 inches. So for this, your band, you can make use of a long one if you want to join it this way. Or you can open it up and cut it. It actually depends on what you want. But all you have to take note of is your waist measurement plus 2 inches. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. So the next thing we need is our belt. So for you to determine the amount of inches you are going to use for your belt, it's simply the amount of inches you use for your cape. So you will make this of 12 inches for this cape. So we have 12 inches plus two that is multiply it by two multiply what you use for your cape by two we have 24 inches and add extra two inches to it so we have a total of 26 inches and so we have two stripes the right and the left and look at the way i cut mine okay not a single piece so you cut it like this it makes it thick and it gives it this you know fit on you so for the wideness, the wideness actually depends on what you have, what you want to arrive at. You can make yours two inches, you can make yours four inches. It actually depends. So there is no standard measurement for the wideness. So, but for me, I'm making use of four inches. So after joining, I have three inches. So these are the basic piece required: our belt, our cape, our band, and our required fabric. So I'll see you guys at the sewing room. So the first thing we have to do, this is our band. So we are going to take our fabric, the front panel of our fabric, and we are going to make a pleat on the band. So you can either make a pleat or you make use of gathers, whichever one you want or whichever one you prefer, actually. So this is how your pleat is going to look like. It's going to look like. So you have your pleat. So after pleating, you are going to have this for your skirt. I hope you guys can see it. You are going to have this for your skirt. So the next thing you have to do is to set this aside. Then for your cape, you turn it the front facing the front. And you sew it all the way. You leave about one inches to turn it out. About one or two inches to turn it out. So after that, this is what you are going to have. You have your cape. You set that aside. Now you complete your skirt. You fix in your zip and then you sew it all the way down. So I have a detailed video on how to make a pleated skirt. So you can watch that. That was where I explained how to fix in your zip, your pleats and your pocket. So we have like a pleated skirt already. So you set it aside. Now you bring your straps. So you do the same thing. You sew it and then you turn it to the front. So after sewing it, you leave about one inch for you to turn it up. So after turning it, this is what you are going to have. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. So you have your stripes, your cape and your pleated skirt. 
so you fold it to get the middle you can not not notch it or indicate where you have the middle so you also indicate where you have the middle for your skirt so that is the middle and then you take the middle for the cape and you place the two together and you sew it all the way down so after sewing it this is what you are going to have basically this is what you are going to have after sewing it so the next thing you have to do is to take your stripes so you fix it after your zip and then you take the second one and fix it after your zip so after sewing it i'll show you guys what it looks like so this is what we have we have our beautiful pinafore ready so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so you just fix in your buttons and connect it to your cape don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys